All right. Apparently, uh, Miranda and Murray. A gig card, not enough. So, I don't know how much I lost. Inside here, these four holes are a cap that presses down, covers the valve spring, and that controls how much tension is on your valve spring. You wish to measure that before you do anything because that will let you sit back to where you are. You can set your valve spring lighter. You can set your valve spring lo looser. This is the orientation of this. Okay. That is your poppet. This is your valve spring. It sticks there like that. There's a 2.5 millimeter Allen screw on here to hold your valve stem in place. We're going to loosen that valve screw and this should just allow that to come out. Maybe. Yep, there it is. It pushes out. On that valve screw there's going to be two O-rings. There's a dimple here that this set screw sets into to hold it in place. The poppet sits on here like that. And that is your valve sealing surface there and there. And that is your transfer port that comes out into the gun. These O-rings we're going to take a measurement on those. This O ring is. Looks like 11 by 1.5. And that is going to be part number. doesn't show. I'm going to replace this O-ring 
was an 11 by 1.5. This one's kind of flat and squishy. Put a little bit of silicone oil on that. We're going to insert this back into here. and orient transfer port this away and the set screw here this way so we're going to do that by putting this valve in here gives me a little something to hang on to There we go, starting to go in, starting to go in. I'm going to use something soft and plasticky, like a pin, so it doesn't damage the brass. That goes in. And the transfer port is off a little bit. So we're going to reach in with something soft here in a second and kind of and blunt so it doesn't damage anything and orient to where the transport is in the right location now we're going to take that long 2.5 millimeter set screw we'll come up into here and that is going to sit and orient that in the right position. Before I finish that, I'm going to push in all the way, make sure that it's seated all the way it is. So now we're going to screw that down. Transfer port is still lined up perfectly. Take the valve, put a little bit of silicone on it. Silicone never hurts. Put that in. Now, using the hemostats, we're going to start turning that. The valve is going into the place where it's supposed to be. And we're going to push this one and screw this in until it gets to the 18.5 millimeters I think it was before. If, for some reason, you find yourself about your valve backing out, you could put a dot of blue Loctite on there as you insert it to hold it in place. So far I have not had a problem with the valve steam stem creeping so now we're going to go here my setting on that was 18.6 millimeters push that down we're going to measure off that left side for 12.3 going to go some more Let's see where we're at. Seventeen point five. Eighteen point seven. We'll back it out just a smidgen. Eighteen point five three. 
and we're in half a smidgen. Now, remember, since this thing's cockeyed, since this thing's cockeyed, this lead's along on that side, I'm measuring off of that side. Put that over there. 18.6. It's where I started off at. Cool. It's what I needed. So now, put a little bit of lube on this, make sure nothing's there. Valve stem sticking out. Let's go ahead and reinsert this where it goes. That should line up with that one. Your O-ring is in the correct place here for that. We're going to insert this into here. Now the hammer is here. You got to push that hammer back some. And There is a small set screw, 2.5 millimeter set screw that goes into here. I'm just going to put it in but not snug it up just yet. So it holds that in place. I'm going to take my four Allen screws, 2.5 millimeter Allen screws, insert them into here. I'm going to get them all started. I'm going to loosen this up just a smidgen. Before they get completely tight, I'm going to press this down into there and set everything in place. A little snug down, not, not quite snug, not quite snug. Take this, press down on the tube. I'm going to loosen this Allen screw. I'm going to tighten all four of these in a Posing pattern kind of like you would do lug nuts on a car. You may not have to do it that way I think it makes sense All right, those are all snug now. We're going to snug this one back down There we go And that's how you change that The only o-rings that are left to change on this eventually We'll take a look at that It's gonna be one around the magazine that one should very rarely break. There's one just inside the barrel here. And there's one on either side of the barrel thimble here on either side of the transfer port. We're going to do that another day. Decock the gun. Serial number 24. And we're going to fill it up and see what we can do.